There is only one you. You are unique, one of a kind, and the Lord has given you special gifts and talents that only you can share with the world. Beautiful singer-songwriter Lee Newton came from humble beginnings. Having seen her share of hard times growing up in Canton, North Carolina, she began singing in church when she was five years old. Her love of music grew as a child when her daddy, a cab driver, played country classics like Hank Williams, Loretta Lynn, Tammy Wynette, and Patsy Cline while she rode around town with him in his taxi going on calls. Today, her soulful voice, heartfelt lyrics, and faith have touched the hearts and audience across the world. And it was all in God's timing. This is her story. This is today's Nashville. This is Faith. Lee, I am so excited to sit down with you today. Welcome to today's Nashville. Thank you so much, Terry, for having me here. You know what? I have been following you on social media. You're everywhere and things are just really, really happening for you. I'm telling you, God has worked so many miracles and pulled so many strings for me in these last few years. It's just unbelievable. Let me take you back to your, I want to find out more about you. Let's start from the beginning. Well, when I was a little girl, I grew up in Canton, North Carolina. And uh, I was a cab driver's daughter. <laughs> My dad um, drove a, a taxi cab for Champion Cab. Um, and in a little town, it's called Paper Town, USA, uh, next to the paper mill, which is no longer there. They just shut it down. Yeah, um, but I grew up listening to country music with my dad, and that was my escape to go ride around with him during the summer. And one, one, one year, I, was, I think I was about seven years old, my dad had his guitar at the cab stand, and I, I picked it up, and I started just planking around on it, you know, and, and he was like, okay, you know, I want to start teaching you how to play the guitar. So um, he started teaching me how to play the guitar, and, and he would start recording me and him singing together, you know, rolling in your sweet baby's arms and, you know, all the Hank, Hank Sr.'s um, songs and Patsy. And, and I just fell in love with it. And it was just something that bonded me and my dad together. You know, he, he passed away when I was 11. Oh, no. And so... Um, was it quick or was it true? Well, you know, when, after I was born, he started having a lot of heart attacks. And, you know, he did work a lot. He worked, you know, seven days a week, months at a time. And it's kind of like my song, Carolina. That is my testimony of how my mom and dad, you know, raised me. And, you know, I, we did grow up really, really, really hard and, and poor. I mean, you know, I didn't know I was poor until I went to school and people started making fun of me. But, you know, there were many, many times as a child that we wouldn't have anything in the refrigerator except for a bottle of ketchup, you know. And I remember being a little girl going in there and squirting ketchup in my mouth, you know. That was, you know, there was, you know, my mom suffered from major depression. She had um, been an alcoholic and she got saved when she got pregnant with me. But on the other side, she, she went through a lot of depression and she would just stay in her room for days at a time. My dad would be gone working. So it was a lot of me being a little girl, fending for myself, but being a little dreamer, you know. Was it just you or did you have siblings? I have siblings, but they're older. My sister is eight years older than I am, and then my brother is 12 and then 16. So they they were all older than me. And so it was basically me and, um, you know, my mom, when she would have her her highs, um, she would just be a little dreamer herself, you know, and she always, one thing about it, she always took me to church. It didn't matter. We, we were in tent revivals. We were in, you know, every church service that we can be in. My mom had me there and she started getting me to sing in church when she started seeing the love that I had for music. So my mom and dad both just really encouraged you know, me being a singer and they knew that it was something that I loved so much. And so now that, you know, 
I feel really close to my dad. Every time that I sing, every time I talk to you know about him, it's got something to do with music because he gave me a, a gift that will will never go away. Yeah, you know, um, it, it, I'm sad. I, hey, I could turn on a, a song that helps soothe me. So, what about after he passed away? What were those years like? It was hard because um, my mom, like I said, she went through a lot of depression. Um, and how and old were you when he passed? I was 11. 11. 11. So that's when a little girl just, need, you know, just starting to grow up and you're just, you know, and and I didn't have anybody. You know, my, my sister, she kind of moved away and she'd never come around a lot just because the way my mom, you know, my mom was a hoarder. She, you know, I never had any, I couldn't bring anybody ever over to the house. I was... Nobody. I was not popular in school at all because when you're poor and you know, and people make fun of you, you know, you just kind of hang out by yourself. So um, it was hard. It was really hard. Just trying to find who I was as a person. How'd you get through it? Music. When I when I got to um, high school, that um, I started. I didn't make really good grades neither. <laughs> um, but, uh, and it wasn't because I didn't try. It was just because I don't think I had that home life of somebody being there for me. And, you know, um, but yeah, when I got in high school, um, my chorus teacher, she honed in on that. And when she picked me to sing my very first song in 10th grade in front of people um, and it was a live band, I sang a Lori Morgan song. And I loved Lori Morgan and the Judds. Those were my yes. two big idols. And... I knew right then and there, I'm like, this is what, this is what I want to do. I mean, I felt close to my dad. I felt just the energy of just adrenaline. I mean, I just loved being on stage. I loved interacting with people. And from that moment on, there was nothing else I could do professionally that I, you know, that would ever come close. So what happened after your sophomore year? I ended up quitting school when I was in when I was in 12th grade, second month in, I quit uh, to help take care of my mom. I started, I got a job when I was 14 and I would take care of my mom. And when it come down to where I had to, it come down to working or school, I had to pick to work to take care of her. And was she getting worse? She, she you know, she, she was. Um, and she, like I said, she would have these moments to where, you know, she would go into a rage or she would, you never know what, just would never know what it was going to be like. What was going on inside of you during this time and how do you feel about all of it? You know, being a mother now, looking back, I've always tried, you know, to, to look, I always try to see the best in every situation. I've always been like that. Um, and so, uh, you know, I tried to, to, to make the best of it. I did want to get away. That's why I ended up getting married so young, <laughs> um, just to kind of get away, I think, from the whole situation. But, you know, I did start forming a relationship with my mom more in my adulthood years, um, just really trying to understand who she was as a person. And I know she had a lot of demons that she was dealing with in her past. And that just, I think it carried on into her, her, her adulthood years. And, you know, I, I respect my mom and I know that she did the best that she could with what she had. And, um, you know, Sweet. you know, I, you know, I just, I really always try to help her throughout, you know, until, you know, she passed away in 2016. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I miss her a lot, you know, cause even now getting even more older, I really see a, a lot um, more that probably was overlooked, you know, by doctors and different stuff with her that, you know, maybe they could have helped her a, a lot more. And you faced more trials, and we're going to talk about it when we come back. <laughs> 